What's going on guys, Chris back with you. Just got my hands on the new Echo Dot fourth generation. This is the newest one. I'm expecting big things from this because obviously it is larger in size. I already own the second generation, the third generation, which I love. And now we have the fourth generation. And just like all my videos guys, in the description box below is gonna be the direct link where you can pick one of these up, read more about it. Let's get it out of the box, let's test it. The box is bigger than of course the Echo Dot three or two gen. And that is because the speaker is larger and they are saying that it has crisp vocals now with balanced bass for full sound. So let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out first, which this is kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly why they went with a white plug, even for the black color, that is 15 watt plug. And that's a little bit different than your Gen 2 or 3 plug. And that is guesstimation tip to tip up top, a five foot plug guesstimation. All right, let's grab our speaker here. And we also have a couple of little pamphlets in here that they always do give. Since the generation two and three have come out, people are concerned about their privacy. And so Amazon realizes that. With this, you have a microphone off button right here. We will show you that. That is a really great feature. If you are worried about your privacy, you go ahead and tap that bad boy, that will turn red, and that will cut off all microphones to the device if you are worried about your privacy. Also, in the brochure here, it is stating that you have voice history. Want to know exactly what Alexa heard? You can view and delete your voice recordings in the Alexa app at any time. That's awesome. Again, this is the microphone controls. You can disconnect the microphones with one press of that button. And it also says that Alexa doesn't begin listening until your Echo device detects the wake word, for example, the trigger word. A blue light lets you know when your audio is being sent to Amazon's secure cloud. So now your light ring is down here at the bottom instead of the top portion. And so obviously this would be the back of it here. Here is your power in and here is your 3.5 millimeter AUX cable insert in here. You don't get any provided cable. You probably have a headphone cable lying around. All you get with this is the speaker and the power cable. Turning this around, this is of course the nice mesh cloth that the generation three has as well. But obviously this is a ball. This is gonna be larger and for the design, this thing better sound better than the Gen 3. From the Gen 2 to the Gen 3 was a big significant increase, much better speaker, so I'm expecting the same jump or even better with the round ball. So we have our volume down, volume up, we have again our microphone disconnect, and we have our action button here. Just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my serial number, but you have a nice soft pad on the bottom there as well to not scratch up your desk. We have a little Amazon logo right there. The DOT fourth gen runs at 12 volt, 1.25 amp is the electronical rating. And there's your temperature rating with the model number. All right, I've been playing around with this thing and that definitely has some sweet features, but something to keep in mind, the generation three Echo DOT has the same power cord as the generation four. So if you want a black one instead and you already own a generation three, you can switch cords if you like. All right, so on my Alexa app, I have entered into a group where I can now play music on all of my devices throughout my house. And so let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and edit out the trigger word so that we don't trigger all the devices. Play music everywhere. Everywhere is my oh, group name. Playing your most played song. All right, we can't listen too long because of copyright, but we have this one here. And then this is where it gets really, really cool. We enter in this room where I have my Echo Show 5 and it's playing here on that one. <laughs> and then it gets even better than this. We go this way check out my 125 inch screen. We go over this way to my Echo Dot third gen and it's playing right here as well. That is super cool. So literally if you're cleaning the house or going room to room, you literally can have your devices playing the same music, set different groups so only like two are going. Obviously only one could go at one time or all of them here. Let me also show you a cool feature. So you're in the kitchen, you've just finished dinner, and you're like, okay, announce to the kids that dinner is ready. Announce that dinner is ready. Announcing. Dinner's ready. 
dinner is ready. Awesome. Okay, so once again, you hit this button right here. The light lights up red. That should turn off, or maybe not. And that obviously means that you are in privacy mode. All microphones are cut off, and it looks like it is staying lit red, so you do realize that it is in privacy mode. And let's go ahead and test it here. All right. Well, obviously I edited out the trigger word, but it is not picking up anything. And then once again, tap that button right there and it goes back off and then you're back in business. And of course you can set timers with it. To be honest with you, mostly I use my Amazon devices for smart home, turning off and on lights, music, and of course timers. Set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Turn off timer for two minutes. Two minute timer canceled. Turn on living room light. So I have mine in my app set instead of OK, it goes chime. So instead of her telling me OK, it just chimes. You can change that in the app. And then of course you do have to have a smart plug for that to happen. So as you can see here, it turned on my living room light. I have the same thing set up for my outdoor patio lights right over here. So if we look down right here, you'll see I have a smart plug. That's not an Amazon smart plug, but Amazon does sell smart plugs. It's this white one right here. I just have an extender because I have my charger here as well. So just this little Wi-Fi plug will connect in the app, even though it's a third party. If you get a genuine Amazon one, same thing. You just enable the skills in the app and you literally can speech lights on and off. I have this for a ton of outlets in the house and it works great. Turn off living room light. Bada bing, bada boom. And the new Gen 4 is coming in at a size of 3.9 inches by 3.9 inches by 3.5 five inches. That is 100 by 100 by 89 millimeters, if you are wondering. And it has a weight of 12 ounces. That's four ounces under one pound. The speaker is a 1.6 inch speaker. Chris, but how does it sound? To be honest with you, I've been listening to it and I've been going back and forth from my third gen to my fourth gen. The fourth gen does sound a little bit better. Is it significantly increased? No, I don't personally think so. It does sound a little bit more crisp the bass is raised up a little bit as well, but in my honest opinion, it's not a significant jump as it was from the two to the three. With that said, should I get it? Well, I'm gonna leave that up to you. This is priced right now, I believe, at $49.99 or $49.95. And you could probably pick up a Gen 3 if you're in the market for it for a lot cheaper now that this one has come out. I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to pick up a few of these. That link will be in the description box below, as with the Generation 3. If you like this design much better than the Generation 3, then absolutely, it's definitely well worth it. And by the way, the Gen 3 black cord that I have is about a foot longer than this as well and takes up less wall space with a square instead of a longer rectangle here. Overall though, it is a pretty sweet device. Do I like this new rounded look rather than kind of the more flatter one? To be honest with you, I kind of like the design of the Echo 3 dot third gen a little bit better. This does kind of look kind of sweet with the ring down here at the bottom. If you do kind of like this look, and this will grow on me. Sometimes you're so used to the second gen being a little bit more lower profile and rounded gen three. Sometimes change definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to. Well guys, thank you so much for watching the video. That is my opinion of the fourth gen. Hopefully it has helped you make an informed decision if you want to upgrade or potentially wait. Those links for the third and fourth will be in the description box below. Pick yourself up a few of them, one or none. I'll leave that up to you. My name is Chris. We'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.